Lagos capital city, Abuja, the Senate is conducting a screening of the acting governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Olayemi Kadoso, and four others who have been nominated by President Bola Tinubu as deputy governors of the city. And these are live pictures from that screening exercise. To do. In this current situation, we found ourselves in the issue of foreign exchange. It's very, very critical to Nigeria economy. And uh, as you know, from what you rate and your experience, there is high hope from you by Nigerians to make a Nigeria better and hope to come back understanding from 2015, um, governor, uh, uh, civilian as a regulatory body is, become, is becoming like only source of Porex, which is not supposed to be. So on that line, what do you intend to do? And what hope are you going to give our people in diaspora? and other investors in the economy so that they can come with their products, with the new fresh money into the account for our Nigerian economy development. That's number one. Number two, intervention. I, sometimes I used to get lost, or I used to ask questions. When were we are before in the National Economic Council? But sometimes the answer is not very, very, very clear to us, to many of us, including the Senate President when he was there, when I was there too. Um, a CBN operates on the same way, the pipe being regulatory, a kind of body of the banks as the commercial. Are, they, is it, are there any way in their laws that they can make profit? Because the way sometimes civilian operate and sometimes come with the budget and expenditure, it's only that if you are making business and making profit that you can do such, such things. So what do you intend to do on the civilian intervention and also the budget process of the CBN? Intervention in the sense that is it only through the waste and means that you make your intervention? Or are there any other ways CBM make money to make intervention, more especially in agriculture and other industries and maybe um, investment. So these are my questions to the governor of the Central Bank. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, distinguished colleagues, so we can have um, a bit of order. I believe that the uh, Incoming Senate uh, Governor of Central Bank, if confirmed by these Hello Chambers, will be working as a his colleagues. So I would like him to take a seat. Let, let the other four Deputy Governors briefly introduce themselves. As your questions are coming, then they will decide who will answer best, because I believe they come from different disciplines. And uh, this last question, please write it down. He's trying to ask you that based on the kind of interventions or actions of the previous governors of Central Bank, where they were running a parallel government from the federal government, where did they get the funds from? Were the funds generated by them? Were they making profit? And if the CBN makes profit, does the profit belong to the governor of Central Bank to use as he likes? Or does it belong to the consolidated revenue account of the federal government of Nigeria? That's what Senator Yari wants to know. And I think it's also something that all the senators here would like to know. Because we hear of the CBN in agriculture, as CBN in dam, CBN in construction of roads, CBN in tourism, CBN in purchase of plant, CBN in, uh, in cocoa, CBN in, in building uh, hotels, in universities, 
CBN in building libraries, the CBN is CBN in commissioning uh, 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 health centers, CBN in purchase of drugs, CBN, CBN, CBN. And so we would like to know from you where all these monies that CBN has been spending in trillions over the years, what kind of industry is CBN running to make those monies? Are those monies not meant to be appropriated by this chamber and by the National Assembly? Are they supposed to make profit and at the same time spend? And if they are making profit, what industries are they running? What nature of business is CBN engaged in? The profit, does it belong to CBN? So please, it's a very loaded question. I would like you to take your seat, let your colleagues briefly introduce themselves so that all of you can decide on who best to answer the question so we can save time. So I call on Madam Eme Musa to introduce herself and take a seat. Thank you. The Senate President, um, Senator Gosio Obotakpabio, Distinguished Deputy Senate President, Baru Jibril, Other Distinguished Leadership of the Senate, and Distinguished Senators, good afternoon. I stand here very humbled and honored as the acting deputy governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria. My name is Emma Musoro, and I come from Akwai Boom States. I am I'm a graduate of biochemistry from the University of Uyo. I have an MBA from um, Obafemi Awolowo University. I'm an alumnus of Harvard Business School. I've attended several international programs, some of which are the Advanced Management Program in Harvard, General Management Program, the Strategic Marketing, Marketing, Strategic Marketing Management Program, authentic leadership. I've also attended corporate credit analysis and financial modeling from Euromoney, and I'm also an alumnus of Lagos Business School. I am a seasoned banker with two decades of banking experience, cut across various aspects of banking. I started my, bank, my banking experience from a very humble beginnings, working as a customer service officer and growing into the ranks up to executive director in August 2022 with the United Bank for Africa. As an executive director in 2022, I was responsible for the, for the North Bank um, business. Responsible for 151 branches, managing the business of the entire North Bank, implementing turnaround strategies to improve the, North, the performance of early branches. In addition to that, we're able to grow customer base, improve revenue, and increase market share. Part of the things that we did very well was to take banking to the rural, to the rural areas in line with the CBN initiative of financial inclusion. And I want to reassure every one of you today that I work with the new team to ensure that we change the narrative. We are very much aware of happenings in the economy 
And I want to assure every one of you today that I work with a new team under the able leadership of Mr. Yemi Kadoso to ensure that we change the narrative in the Central Bank of Nigeria and the economy as a whole. Thank you.